Hello everyone, Dr. Cho is here. I hope you are doing great. Today we will talk about famous historical legendary doctor named Wang Qinren, who lived in Qing Dynasty, so relatively recent doctor who lived 18th century. He is renowned with his masterpiece named Yulin Gaichu. The title of the book is Yulin Gaichu in 1830. And in his book, he mentioned about the importance about anatomy, which has been ignored so long time in Chinese medical history, especially under the Confucianism, Neo-Confucianism. Those philosophy made Chinese medicine very speculative and only thought oriented. So he brought up the anatomy and the philosophy based on pragmatism was reflected in his book. And he also showed that it was the brain and not the heart was previously thought that was seat of the thought and memory. So as an organ, he emphasized the brain is the one who take care of thinking and emotions, not hurt. So obviously he was influenced by Western science and Western medicine. And this is Ilingai Chu. And the title is interesting. The title literally means correcting the errors in medical field. So he's assuming that there are many flaws in traditional Chinese medicine and he thought we need to modify and improve by correcting those errors and this is Ilinga Chu actual and you can see diagrams and he, diagrams were not the popular method Chinese people used in medical books this is one of his famous quote about anatomy the importance of an anatomy to treat illness without understanding the viscera organ and bowels is no different from blind men walking in the dark. So, in the dark, blind men. So, without those knowledges about anatomy, it is like just loitering around the street without any guide. So, he also mentioned that it is like a madman's dream. Well, there is not actual proof. So what does that mean, madman's dream? No logical explanation. And he also mentioned that this way, I hope my successors also correct the errors in my books. I think this is the great comment in Chinese medical history. I love this quote. Some Korean professor mentioned that this is the remark by Wang Chinnan, and which shows how modest he was, but actually he was not modest. This is very arrogant statement. He says TCM, traditional TCM is not perfect. Obviously, he is assuming that his book is not perfect either. So he is giving us the duty, responsibility to correct and improve Chinese medicine. So this is a very strong statement and represent his thought about medicine. There's an interesting Hawaiian word, kuleana. Kuleana means privilege and responsibility at the same time. So with one word, it contains two contradictory meanings. So privilege and responsibility is actually one thing. So Wang Chinnan is telling us that correcting the error in medicine is kuleana. That is our responsibility and privilege. Because all the medical traditions before Qing Dynasty, they dogmatized the theories in Neijing. And this kind of trend was not Chinese alone. In Japan, in Edo period, earlier than this time, earlier than this Wang Chinnan, people in Japan in Edo period tried to crack the errors of medicine too. And also they put great importance on anatomy too. So these thoughts were 
trend around that time by Western influence. He also strongly promoted the idea that many diseases were due to blood stasis. For example, the CVA, the cerebral vasculite attack, especially its chemical condition, Huang Chinne supposed that is the problem with congested blood, not wind. And there's an interesting change of pathology theory about wind stroke, wheat stroke, CVA. In Han Dynasty, Zhang Chongqing or other doctors thought that stroke, the sudden collapsing, is caused by wind based on the property of the wind. But later, Yuan Dynasty, people thought that stroke can be the result of internal problems, the organ problems, especially liver yang. So they built a new theory those stroke can be happened with liver yang raising. So that is called internal wind. From Han Dynasty to Yuan Dynasty, it was about thousand years difference. A thousand years. 700 years later, Wang Chinnan brought up new theory to philosophy, the pathology, the blood stasis. And actually, it consists with the uh, biomedicine. So ischemic cerebral disease, ischemic attack, happens with blood stasis. So that is the reason the doctors prescribe anticoagulant. From this fact, we can learn that Chinese medicine, especially the theory and pathologies, those are progressing and improving. And he invented many famous formulas, which is currently used widely over China, Korea, and Japan. This is one of them, Bu Yang Huan Wu Tang. Bu Yang Huan Wu Tang. This is commonly used formula for stroke. And you can see here there are many herbs which invigorate blood, taking care of the blood stasis, congealed blood. And also he invented the Chu Yu Tang family. The Chu Yu Tang basically treat blood stasis in different body parts, likewise heart and uterus and gastrointestinal system and the joint. So he systematically used those blood stasis formulas for various conditions. So Wang Chinnan is a great doctor representing the Qing Dynasty's trend, the Western influence. And also he gave us insight and influence in modern days Chinese medicine too. So this is the story of Wang Chinnan, one of my favorite doctors in Chinese medical history. I hope you like this lecture. See you later.